Hello everyone, this is the Maths class for Standard 4. We were doing exercise 2 of chapter 8. This is the question number 3. Write the first 4 equivalent fraction of the following. So student, to find out the equivalent fraction, we multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. So let us do question number B, 3 upon 5. To find out the first equivalent fraction, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. 3 upon 5. 2 upon 2. Now 3 2s are 6. 5 2s are 10. So first fraction is 6 upon 10. Now let us find the second equivalent fraction. To find out the second equivalent fraction, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. 3 3 is a 9, 5 3 is a 15, which is equal to 9 upon 15. Let us find third equivalent fraction. To find out the third equivalent fraction, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 4 which is equal to 3 upon 3 into 4 is equal to 12 5 into 4 is equal to 20 so third equivalent fraction is 12 upon 20 now let us find the fourth equivalent fraction of 3 by 5 to find out the fourth equivalent fraction we multiply both numerator and denominator by 5, which is equal to 15 upon 25. Thus, 3 upon 5 is equal to 6 upon 10, is equal to 9 upon 15, is equal to 12 upon 20, and is equal to 15 upon 25. Let us find the equivalent fraction of 2 upon 7. First, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 2, which is equal to 4 upon 14. Now, let us find the second equivalent fraction of 2 upon 7. To find out the second equivalent fraction, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. Which is equal to 6 upon 7, 3 is a 21. 21. Now let us third equivalent fraction of 22 upon 7. To find out the third equivalent fraction, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. Which is equal to 8 upon 28. Now let us find the fourth equivalent fraction. Of 2 upon 7. To find out the fourth equivalent fraction, we multiply by 5 in numerator and the denominator, which is equal to 10 upon 35. Thus, 2 upon 7 is equal to 4 upon 14, 6 upon 21, 8 upon 28. And 10 upon 35. Next is 5 upon 6. Let us first for uh, equivalent fraction. To find out the first equivalent fraction, we multiply both numerator and the denominator by 2, which is equal to 5 to the 10 and 6 to the 12. 10 upon 12. Now let us find the second equivalent fraction of 5 upon 6 to find out the second equivalent fraction, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 3, which is equal to 5 3 is a 15, 6 3 is a 18, 15 upon 18. Now let us find the fourth, third equivalent fraction of 5 upon 6. To find out third equivalent fraction, we multiply by 4 in numerator and the denominator, which is equal to 20 upon 24. Now let us fourth equivalent fraction of 5 upon 6. To find out 
the fourth equation fraction we multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 which is equal to 5 5 is a 25 6 5 is a 30 25 upon 30 thus 5 upon 6 is equal to 10 upon 12 15 upon 18 is equal to 20 upon 24 25 upon 30 now question number 4 is circle the fraction which is not equivalent to others to find out the fraction which is not equivalent to others first we reduce the given fraction to their lowest term or simple form here you can see the fraction 3 upon 7 already in lowest form. So, it means it cannot be divided further. So, let us change other fraction to the lowest form by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. If we get 3 upon 7, it means... The fraction is equivalent. So let us check. Let us take first fraction that is 21 upon 49. So check the divisibility of 21 and 49 by the same number. It's 7. Now if we cancel by 7, 7 3 is a 21, 7 7 is a 49. We get 3 upon 7. It means 21 upon 49 is equal to 3 upon 7. Now let us check other fraction. That is 9 upon 21. Check the divisibility of 9 and 21 by the same number. If we cancel by 3, 3 3 is a 9, 3 7 is a 21. We will get 3 upon 7. It means 9 upon 21 is also equal to 3 upon 7. Now let us check last fraction that is 12 upon 21. Check the divisibility as you can see 12 is an even number and 21 is an odd number. So it cannot be divided by the same number. So 12 upon 21 is not equivalent to other fraction. Let us do question number B. 15 upon 27, 5 upon 9, 45 upon 72 and 10 upon 18. Here as you can see, 5 upon 9 is already in lowest form. It means it cannot be divisible further. So students, first change the fraction 15 upon 27 in lowest form. Let us check the divisibility by 15 and 15 and 27 by the same number that is 3. If we cancel by 3, 3 5s are 15, 3 9s are 21. So we will get 5 upon 9 which is equal to 5 upon 9. So 15 upon 27 is equivalent fraction. Now let us check next fraction that is 45 upon 72. Let us check the divisibility. In 45 and 72 by the same number. If we cancel by 3, we will get 15 and 24. So, as you can see, this is not equivalent to 5.9. Let us check last fraction that is 10 upon 18. So check the divisibility in 10 and 18 by the same number. If we cancel by 2, 2 5s are 10, 2 9s are 16. So as you can see, we will get 5 upon 9, which is equal to 5 upon 9. It means 4, 45 upon 72 is not equal to the other fraction. Question number 5. Find an equivalent fraction of 3 upon 7 with denominator 42. So let us take the fraction 3 upon 7. So
So, 7 is the denominator. So, how much multiplying? 7 to get 42. Let us check. 42 divided by 7 will get 6. If, if we cancel by 7, we will get 6. So, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 6. And we will get 18 upon 42. Now find an equivalent fraction of 3 upon 7 with numerator 27. So numerator is 3. So how much multiplying 3 to get 27? Let us check. 27 by 3. If we cancel by 3, we will get 9. So we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 9. And we will get 27 upon 63. Question number 6 is check whether the following fractions are equivalent using cross multiplication method. Question number A is 3 upon 8 and 16 upon 24. It should be written like 3 upon 8, 16 upon 24. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. With and the denominator of the first fraction with the numerator of the second fraction. So 3 into 24 is equal to 72. And 8 into 16 is equal to 128. So student, here as you can see, 72 the product 72 and 28 is not equal so these fractions are not equivalent now second is it should be written like 2 upon 5 10 upon 25 let us multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of second fraction that is 2 into 25 which is equal to 50. And the denominator of the second first fraction with the numerator of the second fraction. It means 5 into 10 which is equal to 50. As you can see the product is equal. It means 50 is equal to 50. So, these fractions are equivalent fraction. Now, do remaining question of question number 3, question number 4 and question number 5 of chapter 7.